Well, each artist will have, or team of artists for that matter, uh, we have a number of artists who are collaboratively speaking with us tonight, uh, we'll have five minutes with a one minute warning. Our first uh, speaker is uh, Jean de Croix and Clue in the Third. We want to focus in on the distance between the artwork and the viewer. And we want also to mix in desire and frustration, filling gaps between matter and data, intimacy and public space, playfulness and critical mind. It is not really about eye technology, but more, much more about uh, trying to get in contact with something unusual. So uh, this is the work of, uh, of uh, Chloe. We have different practices, so we are not working together on a long uh, base. We just make one project together. So uh, we will, you will see uh, her project before and mine after. Let's say I choose Unplug Interface to express my way of seeing interactivity in my work. Well, interactivity without, uh, without computer, without plugs, without button. Um, well, but um, for me, interactivity in my work, I try to, to tease uh, the viewer, to, to tickle, let's say, to provoke. Um, and um, usually I use the symbol of celebration or uh, sugar, uh, candies, and play to, uh, to, well, as an interface, let's say. So, you uh, do that that um, that picture. I did a small sculpture in ceramics coated with a lollipop uh, sugar mix that I, I offer to uh, to people interested to lick and and suck uh, sculpture. Uh, usually, it's not allowed to to do that with uh, contemporary art. Um, well, but uh, it it works. It works well. Um, that's the tight-fisted pinata. Um, usually, pinata are made to, uh, well, to interact with, uh, to be beaten uh, and destroyed, to 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 get uh, everything in, candies and toys. Here, it's impossible to accede to that uh, pinata because uh, it's in metal and unbreakable. I think it's it, it works a bit like. Uh, contemporary art, like uh, that's its use, but uh, are f finally uh, very hard to exceed for most of common people. Um, that express, well, uh, um, the mix of desire and frustration, that piece. Here's a Louis Vuitton balloon. Uh, it's a punching ball uh, in real leather, wood and gold. Um, very expensive piece and unique. It's an invitation to play, uh, to play with, and to knock out uh, luxury and uh, maybe the gap between uh, poor and rich. Uh, you will see some uh, tangible image and, uh, and video interactive, interactive video I, I made before. Yeah. So it's tap. It's uh, interactive video you can touch and you can control somebody. So we, uh, it's, we can think that it's funny at the beginning, but uh, after a while you feel uh, much more as uh, people controlling other people through interactivity. It is, it is. Okay. So it's uh, an interactive mirror, mirror you, you can touch and you can hear uh, several voices talking to you. I will just keep it because we don't have so much time. This is a, a site-specific installation in the National Library in Quebec. And I will show you the, the last one. It's our piece at Federal Square. And we will finish with it. Si on dit en français être en onde, on dit en anglais to be on air. L'invisibilité de l'atmosphère et du rayonnement électromagnétique suggère ainsi le même imaginaire. L'installation climatique à portée de souffle met cette idée en évidence. Tout en filtrant les effets de la parole, elle invite le spectateur à souffler dans son téléphone portable pour animer les images d'un écran public. 
On y voit deux personnages reliés par la rencontre de leur gomme à mâcher, qu'ils gonflent à l'unisson au rythme de leur respiration. Lorsque la connexion téléphonique est établie, le spectateur est aussitôt invité à incarner l'espace de cette relation interpersonnelle. Ce partage tangible de l'air souligne autant la portée que la fragilité des liens que nous tissons à travers les télécommunications. Ironiquement, la situation fait aussi allusion aux stratégies publicitaires implorant les consommateurs à utiliser de plus en plus de services téléphoniques pour combler leur besoin d'être en contact avec quelqu'un d'autre. So thank you. Uh... And we will wait for your question later. <laughs>